The Bible does not directly mention organ donation, but it is important to understand that it represents a fundamental pillar of Christianity. Jesus taught us to love others with the same intensity, care, and dedication with which we love ourselves. This concept is not new or revolutionary, but it is challenging and radical. When we think about organ donation from this perspective, we begin to see how this act can be a profound and tangible expression of the love Jesus taught us. Our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, and they do not belong to us simply to do as we please. They are a gift from God. When we donate an organ, we are not desecrating the temple but using it in the noblest way possible to give life to another child of God. The concept of the temple in the Bible is not just about preservation but also about service and worship. In the Old Testament, the temple was a place where sacrifices were made, where people drew near God, and where lives were transformed. Jesus' ministry on earth showed how deeply God cares about the healing and physical well-being of people. In Matthew 25, 36, Jesus places caring for the sick and needy on the same level of importance as feeding the hungry and clothing the naked. This powerful idea is that when we care for someone who is sick, we are caring for ourselves. The principle of organ donation aligns with the value the Bible places on human life, as it allows us to actively participate in the preservation and extension of lives that are precious in God's eyes. Donating an organ essentially means affirming that our lives are so precious and valuable in God's sight that we are willing to give a part of ourselves to preserve them. Organ donation allows us to actively participate in safeguarding and prolonging lives that are precious in God's eyes, making it a tangible and powerful way to affirm the infinite value of human life. However, there are differing opinions among Christians regarding organ donation, such as the belief that our bodies will be resurrected on the last day. While this is understandable, it is important to remember that the resurrection promised by God does not depend on the physical integrity of the body at the time of death. Therefore, it is essential to respect and honor the diversity of opinions among Christians on organ donation. God's power to resurrect transcends physical limitations, as demonstrated in 1 Corinthians 15 44 The resurrection body is different from our current body, with a spiritual body raised in glory and power, not subject to dishonor. Organ donation reflects the biblical concept of redemption, where God transforms broken or lost things into something new. The story of salvation emphasizes this concept, as Christ's sacrifice brings new life to those who are spiritually dead. Organ donation is a tangible physical reflection of this pattern of redemption, as the death of one person can bring new life to another. Organ donation is a powerful expression of God's transformative power, bringing life from difficult and painful situations. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Let's continue exploring the powerful truths of faith together. It is similar to the metaphorical words of Jesus in John 12, 24, where a grain of wheat dies to produce many fruits. Organ donation like that grain dies to its original body but brings new life to another person. This act is not only acceptable in God's eyes, but also represents a beautiful and powerful expression of how we can participate in God's redemptive work. By applying this example to organ donation, we can extend our help beyond our death, touching and transforming lives in deep and lasting ways. The concept of organ redemption is another biblical principle relevant to our discussion on organ donation. In Ephesians 5.16, the Apostle Paul encourages us to redeem the time, using every moment wisely and taking every opportunity to do good and glorify God. This principle can be applied to organ donation, which allows us to give another person more days of life offering them more time to live, love, and serve. Organ donation can be a powerful way to redeem the time, as it enables the recipient to draw closer to God, fulfill their purpose in life, and positively impact the lives of others. This act is not only acceptable in God's eyes, but is also a powerful way to fulfill Paul's call to redeem the time, allowing us to continue to influence the world positively even after our death. This concept is similar to the idea that our acts of faith can continue to speak and have an impact even after our death. Organ donation is a powerful way to leave a legacy of love and compassion that endures beyond our earthly lives. It allows us to extend our Christian testimony beyond our existence, allowing our faith to continue speaking and transforming lives. 
The decision to donate organs is deeply personal and must be made with much prayer, reflection, and dialogue with family and trusted spiritual leaders. In complex ethical matters such as organ donation, it is essential to sincerely seek God's will, examine one's conscience, and make a decision based on our best understanding of God's will for our lives. It is crucial to respect each individual's faith journey and not judge those who come to different conclusions. It is fundamental to make decisions with a sincere heart, seeking to please God and love others in the best way possible. In Genesis 1.28, the concept is introduced that God has entrusted humans with the responsibility of managing and caring for His creation, including the natural world, human knowledge, and technology. Organ donation is an example of this divine mandate, as it allows humans to use their skills and knowledge to conquer disease and death, prolonging and improving the quality of human life. Organ donation is not just a medical procedure, but an expression of our responsibility as stewards of God's creation. In Galatians 6, 2, Paul exhorts us to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. By donating an organ, we bear the burden of those who suffer, offering a physical part of ourselves to alleviate their pain. Organ donation not only eases the physical burden on the recipient, but also the emotional and psychological weight on their families and loved ones, giving them the chance to live longer and better. Organ donation is a significant act of Christian love, offering hope and comfort to those caring for someone in need. It is a way to bear one another's burdens and express gratitude for God's love. The Bible emphasizes that salvation is by grace, not by works or merit. Organ donation should be a response to God's love, not an attempt to earn it. It is a way of life, as John teaches us in 1 John 4.19. In the context of organ donation, this gesture can be seen as a powerful testimony of Christ's love for the world. It is a tangible and sacrificial demonstration of the kind of love that Jesus taught us to show. By offering a part of ourselves to save lives, even the lives of strangers, organ donation can be a strong testimony of God's love, allowing our light to shine before others. This vision helps us see organ donation not just as a medical procedure, but as an opportunity to fulfill our calling to be the salt and light of the world in deep and meaningful ways. Remember that the goal of this discussion is not to give a definitive answer or dictate your actions, but rather to provide you with a biblical framework for reflection and decision-making. You are encouraged to continue reflecting on this topic, praying about it, and discussing it with your family and trusted spiritual leaders. The most important thing is that whatever choice you make, it is guided by God's love and love for others, as the Apostle Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Do everything in love. If you found this video helpful and want to explore similar topics, we invite you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with anyone who might benefit from it. Thank you for finding this video helpful, for your attention, and for your participation. May God bless and guide you in all your decisions.